this is Lauren. I'm with KFOG, and we're with Judah and the Lion. Hey, What's guys. What's up? Hi. <laughs> Hello. Howdy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I saw your set earlier. It was awesome. You guys killed it. Do you, are you, how are you still going right now? Your energy was insane. You put everything, like, you were out there fully. Thank you so much. It's, like, it's so fun being out in Napa Valley. It's just exciting. And, yeah, new sites, new people. It's your first time here. Yeah, it is yeah. our first time. Yeah. yeah. I mean, your set was crazy. You guys went across so many genres, and I know that's kind of your, that is your genre. Um, <laughs> can you talk to me a little bit about, like, what goes into those sets? You guys had choreography that you, I mean, it was planned before, I assume. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was all spontaneous. <laughs> that was amazing. Yeah. Well, I think I think for us as a band, I, I was uh, going to concerts. We, we all love going to concerts, but for me, and uh, specifically, and then talking about the, the band, like, we... I kind of get bored at shows if every song sounds the same and the hit sounds just like the intro song or whatever. And so, like, for us, um, being from different parts of the country, Chicago and Colorado Springs, then us Tennessee boys, having, like, a wide variety of influences uh, amongst all, all of us, we we wanted to kind of incorporate all the genres that we love. Um, because, I mean, we are the, the, the generation that has access to all different kinds of music and so why be limited to just like one thing or whatever it may be so we, we like to make our shows fun and hopefully not boring but after like the third or fourth song <laughs> oh no i feel like everything was a surprise like you guys put in Nicki minaj in there at one point you were like you did? yeah i heard a Nicki <laughs> and a booty I, maybe it wasn't oh minaj. yeah <laughs> i uh i practice dancing uh with my booty more than i practice banjo now i so did hear an interview <laughs> that said you might be the best booty popper of the group some people have said that yeah. i uh, i would like to agree very genuine yeah, very genuine booty yeah i yeah. judah I, my favorite part is doing it and then looking at judah <laughs> and his expression defines like if it was worth it because i can't see the crowd <laughs> but if he's he's smiling at me then it's all it's all i need can we see an example of that yeah come on <laughs> come on Charlie. <laughs> There you are, ladies. Wow. That was what I, was, I mean. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Classic. That's real. <laughs> True art. That was beautiful. <laughs> um, <laughs> you guys just wrapped um, a part of a tour with 21 Pilots, and I noticed you have a bet going with them right now. Um, <laughs> do you want to maybe explain that to people who might not know what's happening there? Yeah, well, we originally, um, I forget what show it was during the 21 Pilots tour, we said, and if we got 50,000 retweets on something, then we would get a 21 Pilots tattoo, and Tyler and Josh would tattoo us during the show. Um, but it actually, the deadline already passed, and we didn't get it. No. So, yeah. Are you, would you consider doing it anyways? Would you reopen that <laughs> door for us? Yeah, we haven't really talked about it, but I think, <laughs> like, yeah, we'll, have to, we'll have to sit down. Um, with Tyler and Josh and kind of deliber deliberate, yeah. and, you know, figure out, maybe figure out a new strategy. <laughs> we're, uh, we're open to it. <laughs> okay, we're, we'll keep our fingers crossed then. Um, Judah, I know your mom loves to call, ra we're a radio station, and I know she loves to call radio stations and request <laughs> your songs in different accents, but I was wondering if you had an accent that you might have copped from her or? <laughs> so she, um, she actually, she doesn't do all stations, so I, I kind of called her. Was like, "Mom, you need to stop. Like, you know, it's got, it's not gonna work if you're calling like a station in Chicago because Brian's mom's got that covered. So, literally, all of our all of our moms are pretty good at it. But she would she she's from like we're, I'm from the small town in Cookville, and a lot of um, people the way they talk is very redneck and kind of have a little this and that and all, all that and. Uh, so when she calls the radio station, she's like, oh, my gosh, play Take It All Back. It's my June Alliance, it's my favorite band ever. And then she'll call it and then just have it like in her no normal voice. Like, hey, I really like that song by that Lion Band or whatever. But she completely acts oblivious to the fact that she's my mom and she's been a fan of the band since the beginning. So that's kind of the real trick. That's amazing. Um, real quick, is there something, one way you can sum up kind of what your, s what your music means to you or what? I mean, you guys do exactly what you want to do when you want to do it. Is that, I mean, what's that like? What does that mean to you? 
I think I think for us, just as a band, we we want our songs to mean something, to not just uh, like write songs to write songs, or, or to but actually like sing about real stuff that we're actually going through. And um, obviously, we have the lighthearted side of us as well because we're pretty, you know, light lighthearted people um, and love to have a great time. I mean, our, our, I feel like a lot of our songs kind of embody our friend group back home in Nashville, um, where we love getting together and having a great time and like connecting on a very deep level, um, kind of cutting through like the bull crap or whatever you want to call it. Um, but also like gathering and having like dances and like putting on Mr. Brightside and like going crazy and crowd surfing with our friends, like 30 of our friends in the basement of a house. Um, so we, we want our songs to mean something to people and know that it's from like a genuine like place of, from our hearts and hopefully that connects um, with people, so I, I don't know. That was that was a pretty broad way of describing um, what we do. But we we we've always uh, loved music, and and music has been a place of healing for us. Um, and so we've always wanted to make music that is life giving and um, helpful, hopefully, to people to kind of know that they're not alone in different situations or whatever they're going through, and kind of offer whatever little piece of hope that we can offer um, them with our music. I think we walked away from your set like that. So, well done. Thank you. Um, would you guys mind playing a game with us real quick before you go? Of course. Yeah. Right, this is an either or game. <laughs> I set it up so I don't have to lose. There's no losing on my part. You guys won't lose either. <laughs> um, yeah, you guys can all, um, yeah, everyone shout out your answers. This is either or. You can just, first thing that comes to mind that you would rather just either or. Everyone. You can, you can even shout it out, and whoever's the loudest will get <laughs> heard. <laughs> well, can you? You can hear. Okay. Okay. Beer or wine? Beer. Wine. Pancake or waffle? Pancake. Waffle. Waffle. Beatles or Stones? Beatles. Stones. <laughs> In sync or Backstreet Boys? In sync. Backstreet, Backstreet Boys. Boys. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so stupid. <laughs> Literally every single time. Okay. Taco or burrito? Taco. 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 <laughs> <laughs> I uh, think just your split. Taco. I'll, I'll go talk. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> or was it you? Um, phone call or text? Text. Phone call. Uh, d uh, itchy or sticky? It's itchy. Huh? Itchy. <laughs> 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 itchy, right off the bat. Wow. For sure. Okay. PB or J? PB. PB. PB only. J. Never Is J. it jam or jelly? Judah. J. That's uh, PB or jelly. <laughs> jelly. Okay. So. Never jelly. Yeah, that's I'll a go good PB. <laughs> East Coast or West Coast? West, West Coast. East. West Coast. Ooh. East? I don't know. It's <laughs> West Coast for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Uh, tats or piercings? Tats. tats. <laughs> Sorry, that's <a> <laughs> strokes or stripes? The strokes or the white stripes? Oh, stripes. White stripes. Clarification. White stripes. In agreement? Was stripes. that unanimous? Stripes. Oh, okay. I love stripes. Ooh. <laughs> Different strokes for different folks. Not against strokes, <laughs> just that you're against them. I just never, I never did the Jack White thing. I don't know why. Wow. I love him. He's from Nashville. Love you, Jack White. I know. White. He lives there now, right? Yeah. He's there now? I love Jack White. I just yeah. never got to watch him. Uh, Netflix or chill? Netflix. <laughs> chill. 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 That's probably not an honest question chill. answer for me. I'm I mean, watching Netflix all the time. Yeah, we just basically watched the whole third season of Bloodline last night. So. Oh, yeah. what is it? Bloodline. Oh. Netflix. Oh, I haven't. It was super chill. <laughs> it was actually pretty you heavy. You got both. Really yeah, it was not chill at all. Not chill. <laughs> uh, Netflix. I didn't answer. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, salsa the food or salsa the dance? Salsa, salsa the dance. The food. Ooh, I would like to dance. Salsa. <laughs> <laughs> and if you had to choose, Cavs or Warriors? Uh, Warriors. Oh. I'm so sick of that I, series. Warriors. It's the third year in a row. There's Basketball. <laughs> Warriors. That's the Thank group you. consensus. Go Denver Broncos. <laughs> We got yeah. Sorry, I'm no to response for it. <laughs> yeah, that you was, don't want to choose. Yeah. That was, we'll take Warriors as the final. Obviously, we don't have very we'll many we don't have very many band arguments obviously with what all what's going yeah, on. Yeah, I noticed that. I thought you guys were going to get we're into it, but same. it's a good sign. Yeah. <laughs> you guys are going to keep going. Well, thank you so much. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> go, go Warriors, you know. For, thank for you. I mean, you don't have to. Why not? <laughs> I, I'll take it. <laughs> Steph seems like a good guy. I heard he was here yesterday. He was. Yeah, and his wife Aisha was here. That's they cool. were great. They were cooking. Aww. I know. We're they waiting to become boys with Steph so we can just be boys with him. <laughs> I mean, Sounds first step amazing. was to choose the Warriors, so in that. Exactly. He'll see this. I think you guys are going to be Warriors. close soon. Love that. I feel like I need to like give a speech. 
do you want to make a shout out to Steph? Well, I feel ingenuine now because he just saw. What's his thing? Dub, dub Nation. <laughs> hashtag Dub Nation stand up or hashtag. Um, dub Nation is yeah. Dub hashtag Nation dub wake up. He has this thing on Twitter that I was like, yeah, I want I want to do that Judah line like, hashtag Judah line wake up or something like that. A little collaboration. Yeah. We can start it. Yeah. Okay. Next tweet. I like it. Yeah. Are you guys in charge of your Twitter? Oh yeah. <laughs> Of course. <laughs> and if he likes it, you'll. Oh, he's out. Thanks, Steph. Thank you guys so much. Yeah, I don't thank need to you. Wrap anything. Thank you.